In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install ChatGPT into Google Sheets. So that way you can enter in prompts like this and get AI generated content back. So first we have our Google Sheets right here. And what we wanna do is go to the top left corner where it says extensions. You can see this right here. If we click on that and click on where it says add-ons and click where it says get add-ons, we can then see this Google Workspace Marketplace. And we want to go to the top where it says search apps. And here we're gonna type in GPT for sheets and docs. And let's click on where it says GPT for sheets and docs. This is going to show the search results right here. And we want to click on where it says GPT for sheets and docs right here. It should look like this. And we wanna click on where it says install. It's gonna say that we're gonna need some permissions for this extension. So let's go ahead and click on where it says continue. It's gonna ask you to select your Google account. So let's go ahead and select our account. It's gonna ask us for permission to view and manage our documents as well as view and manage our spreadsheets to connect to an external service and also to display and run third-party web content prompts and sidebars inside of Google applications. We're gonna go ahead and click on where it says allow. Then let's click on where it says next and done. Now we can go ahead and exit out of this window. So now what we wanna do is go back up to where it says extensions. And then we can now see that we see GPT for sheets and docs right here. And now what we need to do is set up our API key. So let's go down to where it says set up API key. And here we need to enter in our OpenAI API key. So in order to actually get this, we need to go to openai.com. We wanna to go to the top right where it says API and then tap on that. It's gonna bring us to the openai.com slash API page where we wanna to go to the top right and click on either login or sign up. So you're gonna to need to sign up for an OpenAI account if you don't already have one. But if you do have an OpenAI account, go ahead and click on login. I'm gonna click on where it says continue with Google. And after I log in to OpenAI with my Google account or whatever account that you're using, I'm gonna to go to the top right where I see my profile icon and then click on view API keys. Next, I'm gonna click on where it says create a new secret key. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this API key that I just generated. Now I'm gonna come back to my Google Sheets and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that key right here and click on where it says check. And you might see this error where it says that your OpenAI free trial is expired. So in order to actually use OpenAI, you need a OpenAI paid account. So click on where it says OpenAI paid account. And we can see that I was currently on a free trial, but that free trial has expired. So what I need to do is click on where it says set up paid account. I'm gonna click on I'm an individual, and then I need to enter in my payment information. And once that's set up, we can now see that it says it's set to pay as you go. And that will be based on how much we use ChatGPT. Now we need to go back to our API keys. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that API key we just created and create a new one. Click on copy. Then I'm gonna go back to my Google Sheets. I'm gonna refresh this page. And again, you only need to do this if you didn't have your billing set up. Next, we go to the top, click on extensions, GPT for sheets, and then click on set API key. Now I can go ahead and repaste my API key, click on check, and now it should say your API key is valid. So again, this is only something that you have to do if you didn't have the billing set up beforehand. If you did have the billing set up beforehand, you should just see this message right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says save API key. And now we need to go back up to the extensions again and go to GPT for sheets and docs and click on where it says enable GPT functions. When we do this, it should say that all GPT functions are now enabled on this spreadsheet. Try typing GPT say hi in a cell. So let's go ahead and try that function right now. So I'm gonna go up to the top left here and type in equals GPT. So we can see all of these GPT functions right here. I'm gonna choose the prompt one and I'm going to type in say hi, like so. Go ahead and press enter. It's gonna show a loading indicator saying that it's loading data and it responds with hi there. And so now GPT is fully integrated into our Google spreadsheet. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. And if you wanna learn how to set this up for your Google Docs, I'll have a video that you can click on the screen right now.